Ah. T. Zuz. Bez. Look. Bad motherfucker in a pair of shades. Black motherfucker with a scary face. Rapping, I'm spitting fire like dragons. Fix your hearing aids. People, I'm sick. You're not hearing aids. I'm very great. I bury snakes in Rocky's pet cemetery every day. So every grave is far from an empty one when my army sent and we're marching like army men. It's Armageddon for you two faced niggas like Harvey Dent. Harvey Dent, my armor, then you. Well, people, mate, we're going to hold it right, 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 right. That's all right. That's all. We now say our next word right now. You don't know. Yeah, that was the sounds of Mr. Barrington Levy. And the man are saying that man will pitch you. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. He will pitch you. Yeah? Doppy fly. You want a doppy fly? Mind yourself. Hey, boy, listen. Anyway, we're going to move on to hot topics right now. Right? We're going to move on to hot topics. And we're going to go straight in because we got to do this little interview with Mims Capone. He's going to fling on the rhythm. So we're going to do things fast. I'm just going to do two hot topics right now. And we're going to keep it moving, innit? Two hot topics. All right. Last week, someone sent me a text saying... Dear Uncle Drums, Pat from New Cross, can you can I ask you, how do you feel about people using the word the N word? All right. Well, how I feel about people using the N word right now is, you know, some black people think that yeah it's acceptable to use it. It's a negative derogatory kind of word. But, you know, like, society's just mixed it in. Like, you can't get away from it, blood. You know, anywhere you go, someone's going to say, Yo, what my jigger and jigger this and jigger that and, you know, them way the blood. So, I'm saying right now, let's keep it in, let's keep it in our community, innit? Let's keep it in the, in, the, in the brown people's community, yeah? Don't go around saying that if you're not brown, yeah? And I'm saying to the brown people, you're not supposed to say that either because when you go around and you're saying, yeah... Hey, my jigger, my jigger, this and that, jigger, that, jigger, 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 this, all stupidness, yeah? When someone that's not your colour says it, you are only coffee mad. But why you say it then? Because it's negative. And the man saying, no, it's not negative, no, bro. It's right, no, it's man, man, this, All right, you go in your house and you go call your mother or your great grandmother. We say, my jigger. <laughs> what? But come on, get out of here. You know the manners, yeah? So, it, it, we know that it's a derogatory term, but true say rap and all them thing there, mixed it up and it, it's kind of a lingo in it. Certain man say, yeah, this, that and the other, different. So, we can't get away from it, fam. Long and short, we can't get away from that word. But, let me tell you the next thing about that word as well, about the big N word, right? Enough people that's um, not black don't even know what it means. They say it. Oh, you're just, a, you're just, a, you're just a man. You're just a trigger man, right? Hold on a minute, mate. Before, I, before, before I look off your head right now, what does that mean? You don't know what it means, mate, right? Even some of the man names asking them, what does it mean? They don't even know what it means, yeah. So let's stop using that word, right? And let's move on. But me personally, I'm not a hypocrite because I play a couple of tunes that's got it in it. But some, you can't get away from some of them. Some of the tunes are nice. You love the tune. It's got the N-word in it. You just have to roll with it. Roll with it, yeah? But I'm saying it's a derogatory word. It doesn't help you. It doesn't help uplift anybody. So if you can, you know, try and fall back on it because it's negative, yeah? And when certain people see you saying that to your, your brother and certain things, they laugh at you and say, oh, this guy's a mug. This guy's a mug. And then when you hear them say it now, you want to get mad. Well, you shouldn't say it in the first place, isn't it? Because it's negative and you know it's negative. So it's not right for you to say that to your brother. Because your brother, yeah, he might think, yeah, it's cool. But let someone else that's not your colour call him that. He's going to go mad. So, a joke thing. You know what I'm with it? I said, forget about that. Put in a new word, yeah? Jigger, yeah? Oh, whatever. You get me, brother? Loudest stupidness. Anyway, big shout goes out to you, Pat, for asking me that. It's bare love on that. And let me quickly move on, right? What's happening, people? You're now locked into the Uncle Drummer Show. You know, hot topic of the week. Mula Cake Talk of the Town. MulaCake.com. Stay tuned. Quickly, 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 quickly. The next one says, Dear Uncle Drummer, My name is Kuami. I am 28 years of age. I've been single for two months now. That's a long time, you know. 
two months, uh, eight week, that's you know, eight week without no woman. You all right, sir? <laughs> nah, nah, I'm only joking, call me. Yeah, so I've been I've been single for two months now. Can you tell me three things that I should look for in a woman? Make sure the first one. Make sure she's a woman. <laughs> Listen, right? Me personally, Uncle Jump. Hold on, hold on. We 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 me cheer them, the man. Cheer them, the man. <laughs> All right, call me, mate. All right, call me. The first thing I look for in a woman, and it sounds a bit materialistic, but I look for beauty, you know, because there's thing called beauty and the beast. And I would rather be the beast. You <laughs> right? rather look for beauty. Cause me not, me, me not want, me not want to suck down on a beast. Yeah. So, beauty is one, right? Honesty. Yeah. I don't want no liar. Me want no liar girl in a bridging. Yeah. I don't want a girl telling me a when she really means z. Yeah. Let's get that straight. Me want no liar girl around your son. Right. Forget about that. Yeah. You could have pretty till. I don't want no liar girl around me. So, beauty, honesty, and someone that's down to earth. Yeah? I'm going to keep it simple for you, Kwame. Down to earth. Because what I've noticed nowadays is you got a couple ting of the Chris in the back off and the chest is out there and face is pimping and this and that and she knows it's walking on the road with the tight clothes on and the back off and beard man see it and start trip over and baby all the baby baby and she and she knows it from and she goes are you made from me and no <laughs> right, right. baby why you have to go on like that right that's what I'm trying to say your head gone right your head fly out without a visa right you need to check yourself darling so what I like is when a woman knows she's pretty, she knows she's fit, and she just normal with it. You know when a woman just kick back and say, Oh, you're right, and this and that, and just deal with it like deal with it like it ain't there. But certain girl they they promoting it, they got it up there and the back off and they're all they're all checking herself and man's all dribbling and tripping up. No no no. Baby, you see me? Uncle Jums, me walk past you. Right? I will go on like you're invisible to me because right now I'm not boosting you up for that. Yeah? Because that's what all the men them are promoting right now. Too much of that video diva type of thing. You start thinking that you're something great. All you did is go in couple videos and, and twerk it off. Like, no, I'm gonna dip on that. You know, baby, you have to do more than that, right? No, you have to, you know, you have to, you have to, you have to do something, do something for me to say, yeah, you're, you're cool. And if you got all them attributes and you're going on cool with it, then you're even more blessed. I'd say, you know what? love you even more because you you got all the attributes that a man you got everything that a man wants and you're just easy in yourself and I'm saying you know what respect anyway people you know who it is you know who it is mate don't talk to Frank mate talk to Uncle Jammer mate I'm here mate SW16 you know where to find me mate yeah you know what it is it's always love big up the pitney them salute yeah big up the adults yeah big up the elderly because enough people are going on like they're not going to get old you're not going to stay young forever, mate. One day, you'll be at old people's home, right, with your little cheesy foot, and <laughs> you'll be looking for someone to come and visit you, right? And, you know, that's why you've got to respect your elderly. So, be up all the OAP, old age pensioners, yeah? It's always love. Uncle Jama, respect you. Car, everybody, I forget all oh, one day. Big up my mother. Big up everybody, mother. Big up my father. Big up everybody, father. You don't know. It's Uncle Jams, I'm out. Huh. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Verona Rose. Make sure you tune into the Uncle Drama Show every Tuesday at 6 pm. Uncle Drama, hot topics, Vava, alcoholic. Hello. As I blow my smoke into the skyline Every rapper out there screaming that it's my time I just kick back, abide mine Let mature like